Hi everyone, I'm Sakamoto. Today, I would like to talk about spinal cord injury with an actual case. In this case, a person was injured by a motorbike accident 10 years ago and couldn't move his limbs at all. But as a result of rehab for seven months, he started walking again and even went back to his work. However, he often stumbled due to the after effects of the accident and did need to use a handrail when going downstairs. As for hands, they got contractures like this and he could only move his thumb and little finger a bit. In addition, he had bladder and rectal disturbance, which caused walking him up again and again for bathroom at night. It was because his bladder didn't work well. Then he didn't feel the bowel movement and lost knees to defecate. Spinal cord paralysis is roughly distributed into total paralysis and partial paralysis. As he could move his arms and legs, he had partial paralysis. Persons with total paralysis lack sensibility or cannot move their limbs at all. So, we performed regenerative medicine on his spinal cord at our clinic. Generally, in Japan, regenerative medicine on spinal cords uses an intravenous drip. Meanwhile, at our clinic, we inject stem cells into spinal cords to deliver stem cells directly to damaged parts. This time, we performed the injection three times. After the first time injection, he became able to move his thumb and little finger rather freely, which had been a bit out of control. Also, his right biceps and iliopsoas were about 30% weaker than usual before the injection of stem cells. They were also found to be recovered to near normal condition in a re-inspection conducted 30 minutes after the injection. On the day one, he did feel lighter and no longer feel numbness of his hands. Previously, he had trouble with going bathroom many times in the middle of the night. But on the day two, he had obvious desire to urinate. It means that his bladder regained its function to accumulate urine. Needless to say, he was so pleased with that. He also recovered the sensibility of his palms and soles. He said that he could feel the handle well when holding it, though he couldn't before when driving. On the day six, he took one minute shorter than before to walk one kilometer. Don't you think it's a great improvement in walking ability? On the day 8, he could go downstairs with a handrail, which was difficult for him previously. By the day 17, the numbness had shrunk from the entire legs to the ankles. As well as the range, the intensity of the numbness had been much alleviated. After the second time injection, he could even jump with his legs. Before the injection, the function of his legs was declined significantly, which caused him difficulty even when walking. The fact that he could jump indicates that the motor nerves of his legs were much recovered. By continuing rehab, he may get more muscles to jump higher or stand on one leg. Also, he was troubled with fecal incontinence as he had no awareness of diarrhea symptoms. However, he said that he became to be aware of the need after the second time injection. The nerves of spinal cord includes those leading to internal organs. As spinal cord nerves recovered, the function of internal organs was also improved. In this way, by injecting stem cells and letting internal organ muscles move more than limb muscles, the function of internal organs such as stomach, bowel, liver, kidney is improved as well as immune system and lung capacity. Lastly, after the third time injection, he could be able to move his thumb and little finger completely freely. Previously, against spinal cord injury of 10 years ago, we could only try to maintain the rest of the physical function through rehab. But, we succeeded in helping the recovery of living nerve cells by injecting stem cells into spinal cord. Various physical functions have been improved by recovering damaged nerves. Of course, there are individual differences which apply to the whole stem cell therapy. Although it's not clear until an actual therapy is performed, this person has significantly recovered his motor and visceral functions lost after spinal cord injury 10 years ago.
If this kind of regenerative medicine using stem cells is established as a treatment of spinal cord injury, it realizes many things that were impossible. Today, I introduced an actual case of stem cell therapy against spinal cord injury. Thanks a lot for your attention!